Hello, I am here for my first ever Brita's Creepy Treasures haul. I just got the box right now. Uh, the postman came and I quickly pulled it in as it is hot as fuck out. So here we go. It came in this um, US mail priority box and it was wrapped really well. Looks like things are tissued in here. Um, I think I got her sampler, like, cause I'm a new customer. She has like, um, I think um, it's a few dollars cheaper for the new customers. Um, I believe it was like $24 and it was like a mix of shapes and scents. Um, you know, I, I don't know what it is. Um, so it's gonna be exciting to see. And it's perfect because I've never gotten from her before. So, um, you know, this will be exciting. But I did go in because I know I love blue sugar. Um, I, saw, I think it was called Sweet Revenge or something. Um, and I saw in her Facebook group how people, you know, that like Blue Sugar really liked it. So I just thought, hey, I don't think I can go wrong. So I did get that and a couple other things I can't remember. But I'm most excited to see the sampler because it's a super surprise for me as well. So let's just get into it. Oh, it looks like I have a couple samples and a pen in here. This is, I guess, kind of like her business card, which is smart. Um, Britta's Creepy Treasures. This is where you can find her. And I'll link her site below as well if you're interested. Um, so that's cool. I love green. Happy to have that. Um, so it looks like this is my samples, maybe. These two. My Soul to Take. Uh, which is wild berry mousse, strawberry raspberry, guava leather, cotton candy frosting, and Mrs. Claus cookies, which I don't know um, what that is, but um, the pour date on this is 4-14-2022, so maybe these are ready to try, and then this one was um, May 17th, 2022, so cool, maybe I will be able to melt these today. I haven't actually um, gotten my melts out from yesterday and new melts, so maybe I'll try that out. Oh my goodness, where to begin? Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know, everything's wrapped in this orange tissue paper, so I guess the only way to find out is just to get on in. Okay. First thing we have here, it looks like this is part of her samplers maybe, or, um, yeah. So I got Night Tears, um, this cute little Hocus Pocus cauldron, um, and Night Tears, if you don't know, is lavender, blueberry, cheesecake, and vanilla bean marshmallow. These were actually poured back in March too, so this is kind of cool that maybe I'll be able to actually melt these. They might have been cured enough. Oh wow, and look how cute. It's got like multi multiple layers to it. Um, I don't know if you can see this. This orange is kind of making things look weird. Um, but it's cute, multiple colors. It's, like a, it's kind of like a turquoise, a pink, kind of like a hot pink and purple. But I really like that. Um, you really, you get a lot of the blueberry cheesecake, I guess, but it's not like a sour note because of the cheesecake. It's more of just like a berry, blueberry. And then the lavender kind of mellows it out. And then the vanilla bean marshmallow just kind of sweetens it up too. It's, it's really nice. I think I'm gonna like that. And then we have Twinkies, or no, sorry, <laughs> Twitches, Twitches, which is black, amber, lavender, plumeria, cotton candy frosting, same pour date in March, March 21st, 2022. This looks like a kind of like a kitty, kind of a kitty shape, two color, um, kind of looks like a kitty or like a wolf or something. Um, and that's interesting because the um, that plumeria and like the candy frosting, it's like a floral candy. 
um, but the black, amber, and lavender almost like give it like a herbal vibe. So that'll be really interesting to melt. Let's see how that does. But it's it's pretty. Um, I think a couple more of these uh, hocus pocus shapes. Seems really bright orange and pretty pink. Um, in bookish babysitter, which is library. Steel Sugar and Mrs. Claus Cookies. Mmm, I like that because um, it's almost like you get the sweetness from like the bakery, but like kind of like, you know, library scents, which are like kind of like leather and kind of like old books um, with like a steel sugar. So it's really, it's a really nice blend. I think I'm gonna like that. I'm excited to have that. And then we have it's the it's the great pumpkin, um, and then that they look like they all have been poured in March so far, March fourth, March fourteenth, March twenty first. Um, so this is it's the great pumpkin almond biscotti pumpkin buttercream and a cookie sugar cookie dough. It's kind of like a round disc shape that says I put a spell on you. It's like purple and like black oh wow that's really good the almond biscotti and that pumpkin buttercream really blend beautifully and then the sugar cookie dough just like gives it like a sweet kind of like a doughy note which is really good I think I'm gonna really like that wow I'm really impressed by her wax so far so far it's going good and then we have the Haunted Mansion, which is Nong Champa, um, VBM, and Apple Cinnamon Icing. And VBM is, I believe, Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I think that is what it is. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but... Interesting. That Nong Champa really um, gives it like a smoky... Kind of vibe. Um, it kind of overpowers the apple cinnamon. I don't really smell that so much, the apple cinnamon icing or the vanilla bean marshmallow so much, but we'll see how it does on warm. This was uh, poured March 17th, um, so I think this should be cured, but I just, we'll see. Um, I don't know, maybe it does need to cure longer, but we'll see how it does on warm. Uh, maybe I'll wait to, I'll see which one the oldest waxes are or not. Maybe I'll melt that one first. <laughs> That'll be my experiment with her. And of course I'll talk about it in my empties. Um, but like I said, it, if you guys know, if you guys have ordered from Britta's, let me know like what the cure time is or how long you, you know, in your experience, have waited to, um, you know, cure it once you've received it. So it looks like there's kind of like a, so this was one, two, three, three like this, or four like this size that I just unraveled. So maybe these are all the samples. I don't know. Oh, this looks like the Sweet Revenge. Um, I think that I got, yeah, I got some of her skulls. There were, like, when I went on to order, like, a lot of stuff was already gone. <clears throat> and I went the first day that she released her R her RTS, but um, I think it was July 15th, R the RT last one. This is what this is from, by the way. Um, but I had, she's in the East Coast, and I think so it was, like, 9 p.m., but it was 6 p.m. for me, and... I got kind of wrapped up in something and then by the time I went on, it was technically like midnight over there. So there was already a lot of stuff gone, but I still, you know, managed to get the sampler, which I'm really stoked on and a few other things. So I can't really complain. And look how cute this one is. This one's like, like five layers. It's so cute. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So Sweet Revenge is um, pumpkin, 
pecan waffles, blue sugar, and palo santo. Oh, it's everything I imagined and more. I, I know I'm gonna love this. Like, this is a winner. Oh, I can't remember, but I hope I bought multiples of this. Because this is amazing. Um, looks like she poured this recently. It's 6, 6, 8, 22, so I might let that one cure a little bit longer. But I'm super stoked to have this in my collection. This is a winner. Favorite thing I've smelled so far. And then I got the Exorcist and a little jack-o'-lantern shape. Um, and then, yeah, so this was poured 6, 1, 22. Um, so this is uh, Palo Santo Patchouli Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Looks like the wax got a little bit warm there. And, but other than that, I mean, the waxes have been perfect. Interesting. I think it's the patchouli that... Um, Or the Palo Santo and the patchouli. Really? Oh, I like that. And the vanilla bean marshmallow mix. It's a really good mix. I can see why people really like this. But I'm going to let it cure because I think it, it needs more cure time. But hopefully by like Halloween these will be ready to go because that's when I want to melt it. Um, then I got the Baba Shook. Um, which is patchouli sugar cookies, sweet and creamy, vanilla bean marshmallow. Pour day is um, oh this was born this was more recent. It's six twenty eight twenty two in the skull shape. Oh that's really good. The sugar cookie really then that sweet and creamy really um, give the patchouli like. More of a sweet, obviously, like, than anything, but the patchouli is in there, and then the vanilla bean marshmallow, but the front runner definitely is those, those sugar cookie, like the bakery notes. We're gonna let that cure, of course, and see how it does in warm. I think that's gonna be a good one. And then I got the Night in Terror Tower which is a Palo Santo Tobacco Bay Blackberry. And this was poured the same day, 628.22. This is in our jack o kind of shape. It's really pretty colors. Mm, that blackberry is the first thing I smell. And then like um, the tobacco. And then ever so slightly the Palo Santo, so definitely needs to cure some more, but I think this is gonna be a great one. I'm excited to have this one as well, so yay. I like how she mixes up the colors. Gotta save this um, cool tissue. And I have another one same size. Oh, this looks like it's one of the sample. I didn't know what I was gonna get. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. This is, oh, oh no, that's not a sample, sorry. This is the, um, I forget what she calls this, like coffin shape or, but I got this, um, this is the Billy Butcherson, um, which is a pumpkin hollow Palo Santo and a steel sugar. And it looks like she actually poured this um, back in September of 21, uh, September 10th, 2021. So this might actually be ready to, this one's the oldest one. So yay. I'm actually happy about that. Look how cute it is. It's like so adorable. I love the colors. Mm, I really like that. Hmm. The Palo Santa blends so nice with the pumpkin hollow. And then that steel sugar comes through. That's going to be sad to cut up. I don't even want to ruin this. It's too cute. But I will. <laughs> don't you worry. I will be melting this. This is too good. Yay. So I'm super happy about that. I forgot about that. Um, 
super impressed with their wax so far. Yeah. These two little guys here. And then just this other big one here. So halfway there. Yes, I did get more of the Sweet Revenge, so. Yay, these were born at the same, the same uh, time. Same exact thing. Um, so I'm happy I have two now. And I got a loaf in the Sweet Revenge too, so yay, happy about that. I knew I was gonna like it, so that is making me very happy. I have a nice little stash of that. Um, once again, it's a pumpkin, pecan waffles, blue sugar, and Apollo Santo. And if you're just curious what her loaves, I mean her souffles look like. Just a simple, simple straight color. Oh, no, she kept it a mix colored all the way through. So that's nice. I am going to let these cure, so I can't wait to have these and melt these. Um, like I said, let me know what you what you uh, let your Brita's cure for until you, you melt it. And then the last one here must be more of my samplers. Oh my goodness, I got grass, these little, it was a coffin, or I mean a cobweb, little rest in peace, little shapes. Mmm, I like her grass. And that was um, from back in February, so these are probably cured and ready to go. I like that. I like that a lot. I like her grass oil. Um, then we have um, the Exorcist Palo Santo Patchouli Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Apple Cider Donut Brown Sugar. This was poured just recently, 7 7 Hmm. shapes. Wow, the, the Palo Santo and the patchouli um, really blend well. Um, and then I'm smelling that brown sugar a little bit. Not so much the cider donut, but like I said, it probably needs more cure time. The vanilla bean marshmallows just slightly in the background. So I think this one's going to be really good. I'm excited about this one. And then we have more of those kind of tombstone shapes. Um, let me out. Rest in peace. This is a winter candy apple. This was poured ooh, the day before me, my birthday. 3 4 22. Interesting. I really get the candy apple with like a touch of like maybe winter green or peppermint. I'm not sure what mint is in here, but it's definitely a mint or something in the background. And then we have uh, Murder in Paradise, which is Gain Island Fresh Hawaiian Punch and Margarita, Pour Date 4 22 Cute little um, skeleton. That's interesting. Hmm, the, the Hawaiian punch and the margarita are definitely stronger than the Gain Island Fresh. But I'll have to melt that and see see what um, you know comes through more, or if it's a perfect 
blend of the three, I might be able to do that. I'm not a huge laundry person, but I think I might be able to do that, which is cool. So far, I haven't gotten anything I, I hate. Um, and we have a bunch of other little samples, uh, strawberry pound cake, little jack-o'-lanterns, little pumpkin guys here. And this one is a, pour date is a 62822. And it's very much a strawberry pound cake. Um, I recently discovered I like strawberry pound cake. So I'm happy to have that. I'm not a huge bakery, but I like strawberry pound cake. And I got more of the Bubba Shook, um, which is the patchouli, sugar, cookie, sweet and creamy, vanilla bean, marshmallow. These were um, poured on the same day. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think I'm really gonna like this Bubba Shook. So happy to have more of that. And then I have a Summer Creeps. Oh, sorry, summer, yeah, summer creeps. Um, strawberry coconut cream pie and a waffle cone, which was poured on for 2022. Interesting. I'm definitely getting um, the strawberry and then the waffle cone, and then the coconut cream pie. So I'm getting all three. That's good. It's probably cured and ready to go. This will be a fun one. And then we have Dead Men Tell No, uh, sto or sorry, Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is peach, salty sea air, and Bora Bora. Pour date 6-1-22. This one's got some strawberry jam in his face. This one's okay. Oh wow, that one's really good. Hmm, I like her peach. And then you can smell that salty sea air. And the Bora Bora, oh, this is really good. I like that a lot. And then we have Fall Fair, which is Cider Lane Funnel Cake, pour date 628.22. I like how she puts the pour dates. Not everybody does that. Oh, I like her um, Cider Lane. With, I can really smell it now. And the funnel cake. That's great. I really like that. I can see why people go gaga for her wax. She has really good scents. Then we have the Exorcist Sugar Cookie Sweet and Creamy, which is Palo Santa Patchouli Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Sugar Cookie Sweet and Creamy, um, which I got. It's the same same one, but this one has a older or a newer pour date, seven seven twenty two, um, but it's the same thing. And these well different colors, but. Well, I guess this one has the extra, the sweet and creamy and the sugar cookie, which the extra stuff doesn't have. So it's just the added sugar cookie and sweet and creamy. Hmm, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, they're both lovely, but obviously like the exorcist, um, just has more of the Palo Santo patchouli coming through. And then the difference with the mix of the sugar cookie and sweet and creamy is just that it just gives it more of like a sweet, creamy, which is nice. I'm happy to have that. I'm really liking her wax. I'm so glad I got this order in. Um, I'm glad that some things are cured where I can start melting them today and some others, you know, 
I can wait um, until the fall, Halloween, winter maybe. Um, this one is Captain Jack Sparrow, which is Hipster, Black Sea, and Palo Santo. This was poured on 414, 22. These are more of like her tombstone shapes. Definitely smell the Black Sea, Palo Santo. I'm not exactly sure what hipster is, but I like it. It's, I think it's, some, it's one that I can do and I will like. And the last one here is Cauldron Concoction, which is Count Chocula, Sugar Cookie Dough, Sweet and Creamy, poured 627.22. Of her jack o' lantern shapes. Oh, that's good. Wow, I, I really don't like, um, I haven't had too much chocolate and wax, but the ones that I've smelled, I I didn't care for. Like, I think, um, was it the bathing garden? Or I forget, but I just, I wasn't into it at all. So, haven't been ordering anything with chocolate, but this I actually like. I think I'm gonna be able to do. Of course, that uh, sugar cookie dough and the sweet and creamy kind of mellow it out. So this is a nice blend. I like it. Very Halloweeny too. Awesome. So this is everything I have from those creepy treasures. Um, this was my very first haul and a good one indeed. So I am very excited. I don't know what I'm gonna melt first. Might be this just because it has the, um, you know, the oldest date on it. This is actually from 2021. So um, I think this one is cured and ready to go. So I think this will be cut up, unfortunately. It's so cute. I'm gonna have to take a picture to remember that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys like from Britta's. Uh, if you guys did a order from her last RTS um, on June 15th, like what did you get? I'm always curious to know. Um, if you think there's something I should try, let me know so I can get it on the next one. And um, I don't know when her next uh, restock is, um, but I'm sure if you go on her Facebook page, you can find out. I will link her website below and I hope you all are doing well and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.